And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. It's the Dragons taking on Colchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's the starting 11 for the Dragons. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. That's useful play. Crossing into the middle. Defended well. Edge. And a goal has gone in in one of the other matches. Alex Scott will tell us more. Yeah, it's a goal for Tranmere Rovers. He shot far post, the keeper parries it, but the rebound has been put in nicely. They've scored the opener here with only four minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Rodriguez applying vigorous pressure. Good technique displayed. Not away completely. And problem solved for now. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. The danger not over. Superb block. Greenwood. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Sears. And a chance to whip it in here. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. And that was a very fine read. Registration BGO4DOM. Please return to your vehicle. Noah Chilvers. It is a decent looking attack here. Oh, great defending. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games, and Alex Scott can fill us in. It's a goal for Sutton United. The score's level again now at 1 1 with 30 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. 
Real chance. Not on it. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, they need to be more positive with their passing. Make more runs in behind the defence. Create overloads in the wide areas. And then we may see an improvement in those stats. Dyke. Kyle. Determined defending. He could pick out a teammate. Well, under no real pressure as he brought the ball down. Great effort to keep that one in play. Very quick thinking there. Sears, Chilvers, Alex Newby, and fed forwards, and the referee blows the whistle, it is a free kick. Well, some referees might have reached for the yellow card, but not this one. Yeah, another foul, and he will get a yellow card, that's for sure. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. The high press was very much on. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now, I believe changing circumstances in one of the other games. Alex Scott will tell us more. Yeah, it's enough. Oh, no, what a chance this is. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Who can they pick out? Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Well, sincere apologies to Alex, I must say, because we had to cut her off just when she was in full flow. And to recap for you, a goal in that match for the away side. And the lead at the moment is 2-0. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Can he put them in front? And still a chance. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football. And there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front. But the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Well, he's certainly got ability. A lot of clubs have been in for him, but now he needs to fulfil that potential. He might just have to be patient, though. Edge. Now, far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card? And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Noah Chilvers. And room now out on the wing. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Well, the visitors, as you can see, have enjoyed so much of the possession. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Well, first order of business is to win the ball back. And a goal kick given. 
And the substitution will occur now. Well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. What do the referee think of it? And the referee has decided to expel him. Well, he can only have himself to blame. It's going to be interesting to see how they adjust now. And time for the change now. This looks more than decent. Really intense pressure applied and unable to hang on to the ball. That's good pressing for you. Getting in there to take it away. Teammates in the middle. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games and Alex Scott can fill us in. Yeah, it's a goal for Tranmere Rovers. They're now behind by one with 72 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Moving it forward. A really top-notch piece of defending. And the right place to cut out the pass. Just ten minutes remaining here. Eastman still pushing for a winner well far from the cross he had in mind goal kick it is they've decided that now is the time to go to the bench Now, goal news to bring you from one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the details. It's a goal for Salford City. They're now three ahead with... Oh, fine save. And it remains all square. Well, he saved his team there. That's a big moment for the keeper. And he's fired over the corner. He got a good palm on it. The corner kicks keep on coming. Who can they pick out? Determined defending. Now smuggled behind for another corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Or well, no problems defensively. Denial. Can they forge ahead? Still a chance. Well, no damage done. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, it petered out. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Oh, what a crucial save that is. Well, that could have been the winner, but he's so good in those 1v1 situations. And over it comes. Well, still an issue here.
And in the end, no damage done. And that is that. The full-time whistle here. And nothing to separate the two sides at all over 90 minutes. It finishes nil-nil. Stuart, your take. Well, Derek, I was expecting more from both teams. You certainly can't criticise the effort, but there was a real lack of creativity and goal. Neither side did enough to win the game. And so the battle commences.